Welcome everyone to my little part of the world in the Paulist Fathers Rectory here in New York City. I'm on the fifth floor of a sixth floor building constructed in 1931. Here is the elevator, which came obviously later in our time. And when you get off the elevator, you come to the hallway. There are 10 rooms, bedrooms on each floor. And we get to my little alcove here. So we'll go first to see, well, there's my door. And here's a number of paintings and pictures that have been mostly given to me. So I'll give you a little sense of the wall outside my door. The first is this beautiful watercolor by Nicholas Markell, a dear friend of mine, who uh, painted these while we were in the seminary. He did ultimately move on from the Paulist. He's married, I'm godfather to his oldest daughter. He has two children, he, and he and his wife live in Minnesota. This is the resurrection of Jesus. Beautiful, isn't it? He had a gallery for a short time in DC and I purchased this because I loved it so much. And then we have many gifts to me. Um, a gift of the cross with Jesus' name from one of the parishioners at one of my parish missions. And then when I left Los Angeles after six years, two sisters gave me this. Jesus hugging someone into heaven, which I've always loved. And this was another gift. This, because I was blessed to do six trips to Israel while I was in Los Angeles as chaplain, and one of the parishioners inspired by my trip gave me this print uh, called Jerusalem, the city of peace. As we go back a little further, again, I'll give you a sense of my whole wall. Here's another Nicholas Markell painting. This one he gave me. I was reading a newspaper at the Paulus Father Summer House in Lake George, where students went every summer for two weeks. There I am. And then above is an icon of Pope St. John the 23rd. And this icon, he says, uh, the script says, we are not on earth to guard a museum, but to cultivate a flourishing garden of life. And I purchased this when I was working as a deacon in San Francisco. Uh, we had ordered a whole bunch of these icons for the month of November, the month of all saints. And the uh, proprietor of our welcome center and gift shop couldn't afford to keep them all. So I graciously and others graciously offered to buy each one, one of them. And this was the one I chose. <laughs> and this is a small icon of Jesus Pentacreter, Jesus the teacher, uh, which is from a company called Building Bridges. And I've ordered a number of these over the years. We move further back on the wall, and this is a gift from friends. It's called Leap of Faith, and they gave it to me when I was leaving Minnesota, and that they framed it and all. And there, it's a very precious memento from my time there. As so we go to my door, I'll tell you about that in a minute, but above, is a plaque when I was a deacon in San Francisco, also given to me as a gift by parishioners there. And that's one of my favorite psalms. The Lord shall preserve thy going and thy coming in from time forward and forevermore for my diaconate ordination. And then as we come down, I have one of my favorite paintings of the face of Jesus um, by Locke, B-L-O-C-K, uh, German artist, I always loved it. And then you see a little star <laughs> with my name. This came from a St. Paul the Apostle Parish fundraiser about 10 or 12 years ago, and everyone who attended got their name 
uh, printed on a star, uh, which I often preach that we're all made of stardust. The carbon that's part of the, the main component of the material world uh, that happened at the Big Bang and creates the stars is also part of our makeup. So there's stardust in everyone. All right, we'll pull back here a little bit. And one last thing, oh, another a plaque given to me as a gift by a very appreciative parishioner. It's a little understanding of my name, its origin and its meaning. And then we move back. And here's the view outside the hall window. This is a plant owned by Father Tom Hollihan of the Paulist Fathers. This is the view outside. And if I come here and look, you can see the little cross at the entrance to our rectory and a lovely apartment building across the street. And you can see, and you can see, I have a tiny little prayer corner here, just sort of in my coming and going. Um, this is a uh, frame given to me by a dear friend and a winter scene, which I always love, snow on evergreens. And as we pull back a little bit, another plaque given to me on life as a journey across and a shell all have spiritual significance. So I see that I'm already at over six minutes. So before we walk into my room, I am going to conclude this section and I'll be back in a few minutes. Bye.